Hi guys, White Witch 110 here. I was going to read, but it looks like that rain is coming in that they were promising. Hubby was in the hospital today, all day. He has a serious muscle spasm. So he's, you guys are a little crooked here. So he's sleeping right now from the pain meds that they gave him. So I thought I'd hop on. read the story, but now I'm thinking I'm going to get wet. But, hmm, down there. I don't know if any of you see, but we had a visitor last night. It's a cicada. I have no idea where it went but it was here. So now I know what the cat's been looking at. Okay, we're gonna, whoa. This isn't a very stable tripod. I'll let you look at the clouds. I had a feeling I got this backwards, but what the heck. Okay. A bit better. I've got to hold on to it. Okay, so here we go with the story. Abigail, are you busy tonight? Nicole's voice was weak. What's wrong? You don't sound well at all. I need to come over. Is it all right? You're gonna have to be careful. I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> um, sure. Whenever you want, I'll leave the door unlocked. Abigail hung up. Who was that? Scott asked, putting his book down. Nicole, she doesn't sound well at all. Scott seemed seeing the concern on her face. Do you want me to make myself scarce? No, it's fine. I may need you depending on what's up. Abigail paced the floor, waiting, waiting while Scott continued to read. They heard the car on the gravel driveway. Scott opened the door. Come on in, he greeted Nicole. Do you need me to leave? No, thanks, it's fine. Abigail hugged her cousin. You sound horrible, what's wrong? Let's sit down. I'm gonna bring you down a bit more. Let's sit down. They all do. I've been keeping something from you for a while. What is it? Abby held her breath. Brad and I are divorcing. It's been bad the past five years. Abigail couldn't believe what she was hearing. I was too embarrassed to confide in you. After all the grief I gave the both of you, all the time, I was struggling to keep things together. It didn't work. We even tried professional help. It didn't work, nothing worked. I'm at a loss. And what should I say to you? Do I tell you to try again? Do I tell you to move on? Abigail glanced over to Scott. I'm moving on. Brad has someone else. They work in the same department. He, what? And this man was in my house last month. How long has he been seeing her? Two years. Nicole looked away. Do you need a place to stay? You're welcome to come here. You should have family around you, Scott offered. 
Is the apartment open? She asked. Yeah, it's all yours. Scott went over to the kitchen, lifting a set of keys from the hook. All yours. He placed them on the coffee table in front of her. Did you bring anything with you? Abigail asked her. No, I'll need to go home for some clothes. I wasn't sure you would take me in. Nicole, your family, of course we'd make room for you. The last thing we want, the last thing we want now, is you and that house with him. I'll make sure you get moved out as soon as possible. Mel, Justin, and Sage will help. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to to get this that it'll stay What? Hang on. Okay, that might work. It might work. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to get you guys to get a half decent look at it. Okay. Okay, so we'll try this. Okay, where was I? We'll help. Sage, Scott, quietly said. He cares about Nicole, they're friends. She needs us all right now, Abigail pointed out. Scott trusted that, Sta that Sage would behave. The three took Scott's car to the house for Nicole to pick up a few things. Brad was home on his computer. Nicole went straight to the bedroom to pack. Scott sat down and waited for the girls. Hi, Scott. Brad finally addressed him. Hi. Scott debated whether to say something. Why? Things weren't jiving anymore. We were living different lives. You know how that is, Brad explained. Don't compare yourself to me. I made decisions I regret. I couldn't be happier than I am now. And I'll say, all I'll say is you're letting a good woman go. You don't know Bev, Brad told Scott, and I don't want to. This is my family. She'll be better without you. We'll arrange to move the rest of her stuff out. You'll be able to move Bev in. Scott stood up when the women entered the room. Ready to go? Nicole nodded. Let's go. He turned back. I'll be in touch. On the drive back, Abigail asked what was said. I told him he's made a mistake and we'll have her things out soon. I hope I didn't overstep. Thanks, Scott. Nicole was glad he had said what he did. They got Nicole comfortable in the apartment. I'll let you two alone. Scott gave... Are we getting a warning? Hang on. I don't see anything on the phone. Or on the TV, so... Okay. Um, okay. I'll let you two alone. Scott gave Abigail a kiss and Nicole a hug. I'm here. He, re he reassured her. Five years, Nick. I can't believe it. In two years? You've put up with more. You were having such a time with everything. I couldn't load you with my situation. So when did and how did all this happen? Abigail brought over a tea for what may be a long conversation. Things were good in the beginning. We were in love. We worked through arguments. We started to drift apart when he got his realtor's license. After that, he spent more time at work, even though he could have worked from home. He'd take me to see the houses he sold. Brad was so proud of himself. I was too. She stopped to sip her tea. So when did he start seeing that woman? 
four years, four years in, she joined the she joined their team. I didn't think of an, anything of it at first. I even had her over for dinner a couple of times. I don't know if it had started, but she came over. How did you find out? Abigail asked. I came home one evening. Her car was in the driveway. I seen them as I came around the side of the house. They were holding each other and kissing. Abby, my heart sank. To this day, I don't know how I walked in pretending I had seen nothing. It killed me. Nicole held back the tears. I would have walked away, Abby told her. I couldn't. I loved him. I thought things would change if I took more of an interest. It didn't make one bit of difference. They started seeing each other during the day, so I wouldn't get suspicious. Millie seen them at the Jones house. She said they had looked very cozy, and they were adjusting their clothes when they left. They were having sex in houses they were selling? Yes. Millie seen them a few times. She's a Meals on Wheels driver. Then she started spending... Then he started spending more time at home, so I figured it was over. I was wrong. I came home early last month. The day before we came here. There they were on the sofa, going at it, like two dogs in heat. I told her to get her fucking ass out of my house. I stood there while they got dressed. He looked, he looked so pathetic, struggling with his socks. I almost wanted to laugh, but I was too angry. I wanted to spit in her face when she passed me, but my spit is too good for trash like her. What did Brad say? Nothing. He went into his office, I followed. I wanted a confrontation. I opened his door and demanded information. That's when he told me how long he'd been seeing her. He made the first move. The same usual bullshit excuse. He wasn't happy anymore. Well, he could have fooled me. He said they had more in common. Nicole held fast to her anger. What did your dad say? He doesn't know. I can't bring myself to tell him. At least not yet. But you don't want Brad telling him. What if he phones the house? Abigail said. He always calls my cell. You better hope. I tell him. But it's not my place. I just want my stuff out. I don't want to see him again. Abigail told, told her not to worry. They'd make sure he was gone when the time came. I want my stuff out tomorrow or the next day. I don't want this prolonged. I've told him to pay for the divorce since he has the girlfriend. I need sleep. Just adjusting you. Abigail gave Nicole a hug. You're here now. Get some sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Abigail was ready to rip Brad apart. She filled Scott in on all Nicole had told her. You mean that bastard was here after that? He better not be anywhere close to the house while we're there. He's the scum on milk on chocolate milk after it's boiled. Scott's voice went up an octave. It was more than difficult to believe what had happened. Nicole had always harped on her relationship. This wasn't a time to throw that in her face. She needed compassion. It explains her attitude towards you and Sage. She was hurting all the time. I would have never had him in the house if I knew. Abigail was extremely upset. Well, now we can be rid of him. 
I'll make arrangements for the van tomorrow. Does your uncle and her brother know? She can't tell him right now. I think she's afraid to. I thought of letting them know, but it's not my place. I guess pointing out that she had overstepped isn't important right now. That's right. They all had a restless sleep. Abigail was up a few times during the night. She noticed the light still on in the apartment. She wanted to go over then recalled how she had wanted to be alone. Nicole thought back. Had there been red flags she ignored? Though what she had been reading into every little thing now? She walked over to the window. Scott used to look outside of. Her cousin had finally got it right. After all those years and all the abuse she took, Abigail was happy. Nicole felt a tinge of guilt. She had been horrible to her over Scott and Sage. It was her own situation that upset her. Abby had been right. She needed to tell her dad. It wouldn't be right for Brad to do it out of spite. It was around 6 a.m. when she dialed his number. Hello, Dad? She said quietly. What's wrong? Are you okay? He heard the panic. She heard the panic in his voice. Not really. Nicole admitted. Are you sick? Should I come up? No, Dad. I just need to let you know I left Brad. I'm at the garage at the bay. What happened? Her father relaxed. He was cheating on me with the woman from work. I caught them having sex on the sofa. That bastard. I'm coming up, he insisted. No, let me get settled first. Abigail and Scott are helping me to move today. I think Sage and Mel too. Does your brother know? No, I haven't told him. I want to get this move over first. Her father honored her wishes, but as he sat in his home in Florida, his anger grew. He was going to have words with Brad. Scott, Abigail and Nicole drove to the rental place. Abigail and Nicole would go ahead, Scott would drive the van. Mel, Justin and Sage were going directly to Nicole's place. Hi guys, thanks for helping. Nicole will let you know what's, what is going. If anything needs packing, she'll let you know. Nick, let me make sure he's not here. Abigail went through the house and gave the okay. Scott arrived ten minutes later. He was about to walk inside when Brad showed up. You aren't supposed to be here. I suggest you leave, he advised. I just want to see if she's all right. She hasn't changed her mind. Did you expect her to after what you did? That's rich coming from you, Brad stepped forward. This has nothing to do with me. This is all about you. Scott countered his step. Brad backed off and left when Sage and Mel came out. Was that him? Sage inquired. Yeah. This is the first box. There's a small table and chairs. She's going through the stuff, taking her things out. The men all get on, go on well. In a few hours, all her things were out of the house. Where is this going? Mel asked. To the bay. I'm living in the apartment. You'll help me unpack? They all met at the bay. Boxes and furniture were brought upstairs for her to arrange in her timing. Sage felt weird being there, not being a part of it anymore. Guys, come over to the cabin. I'll get you some drinks, Abby said. Nicole ordered pizza as a thank you for the help in time. Surprisingly, everyone was relaxed, but then again, they were so tired. Scott took his food out to the veranda. Sage was far behind. The rest sat inside in the living room talking. How are things? Sage began the conversation. Things are good. Scott took a bite of pizza. You got married? Yeah. His responses were quick. 
You know I won't congratulate you. I wouldn't expect you to, but I hope you'd at least be happy for, Ab for Abigail. If she is, that's great. Make sure she stays that way. Don't start, Scott said. Sage sat back and said not another word. The friends came outside. Thanks again, guys. This means the world to me. Mel and Justin are staying over at my place. Nicole looked over to Scott. It's all yours. I don't need it, he told her. She held back tears and embraced him. Sage, you staying? She asked. Do you have room for me? Abigail didn't offer. Nicole said, sure, she'd make room. Things began to calm down. The divorce was final in no time. The cousin was free. And I'll leave it right there because it seems to me, well, I'm holding everything, that uh, I believe the rain is coming. So, and here I was thinking, no, it's not going to. Because it always says it's going to rain and it doesn't. I think I'm right here. Oops. I'm slipping. That's the only time you're going to see me, if you've seen me. See? It's going to be like a ball. I don't want to put this out over just in case my phone decides to pop out. There, a closer look at the clouds. over here, first of all, so I have this guy here, I think I'm walking through, I'm going to put that in here where it's more stable, my new plants, this one and this one, and new Snapdragons. This one? Me. Okay, we'll put you down there. Okay. He's still sleeping. No. I don't think I have any new ones on. <gasps> I do, I do, I do. I do. Look at that. A new Snapdragon. So cool. And I was thinking that I wasn't going to get any more. Yeah. Wind's picking up a bit. That's our neighbor down there. She takes care of her grandkids. They are three, two, and one. We've only seen the one that's three and the one that's two. Mm. She should make tracks inside or she's gonna get soaked. Ooh, nice blue. Yeah, this is gonna be a long one. Okay, I'm gonna sign off. If you're new here, please check out my other videos. If you find anything that you like, thumbs up, drop me a comment, share it out. That's always greatly appreciated. To also, while you're here, consider subscribing if you do. Remember to click the notification bell so you know the next time that I upload. And to my subscribers, my YouTube family, thank you very much for coming by. And uh, you'll be getting another video this evening regarding the storm. And until that time, ciao for now.